Good. We need to ride up to the highway. Your dog is one way in the middle of the attempt to try to keep traffic moving along this main thoroughfare. It is. The flooding is definitely very serious and could potentially shut this here wind car cutting off access from Illinois into Iowa from this area. So far it hasn't totally compromised the highway, but it is, it is beginning to look as though with any major significant additional rainfall we could end up losing the highway here. Okay, we, uh, we've been given a go-ahead now to travel across this stretch and right now it looks as though it's been travel reinforced to get through here, but the, but the flooding is has been extensive and they're barely able to keep this, this link open. You'll notice the jumping of the camera as we go down this road because the reinforcement is awful bumpy. This does not, uh, the entire farm and road is just shut down because, uh, because all of this area is so totally and completely flooded that it makes the uh, passage impossible. Directly ahead, traffic has been stopped on the west side of this stretch, and we are gradually being allowed to get through here. Carmen Road Junction, where Carmen Road used to be, is totally underwater as we speak right now. It is the entire road is. The entire Oh my god, honey. Yeah. Entire That's the reason why we can't get through. Yeah. The Carmen Road is entirely flooded as we roll. Down. 
Boston services. No, uh, no for Illinois because they just simply cannot get, get anywhere. It is completely inundated and flooded. This is being recorded on uh, Wednesday, July 30th. But, uh, the sandbagging operation, the, the river is high. It has blown its banks here outside Burlington. Quite a sight to behold. The Mississippi has reached the center. And that's it. Five Village Online Northern exclusive report coming out of Burlington, Iowa tonight. July 30th, 2008.